The nice people at Testman reached out to us and they wanted us to review their multimeter. So they sent us the TM510 multimeter that they offer. Uh, it's inexpensive and it's supposed to be for the DIY person. So we're going to do some checks on it and they actually didn't pay for a promotion. It's just my opinion on it. So I have to have a standard when I do my opinion. So we have the one that I normally use and then we're going to see how this one stacks up, which for the DIY person, they don't need an expensive professional multimeter. And if this one works out, I'm gonna keep using it because why would you not use a good tool? Uh, so we're gonna see what they sent us, which actually is a nice little carrying bag and instructions, of course. Ooh, it's rare when you actually get good batteries with these. So the other thing that this has is it's 100% auto. So it's supposed to tell you if your, you know, voltage, uh, your voltages are DC or AC. Um, it's got ohms test and it's got continuity test. And then this NCV, which I actually didn't know that it was a thing, but it makes sense for homes so without anything in it you can actually see if a outlet is active has voltage on it we're going to test that out because i want to see how it works um, it is decently small and it's a very compact design so we're going to put the batteries in it and do our tests all right and taking off the protective cover which is actually a really nice rubber so hopefully the drop tests work well with that All right, ready to go. So I've already connected my meter and the Testman meter to the battery just to see what the difference is. And honestly, it's not much. Uh, it is 0.06 to 0.05 volts difference of what they're reading. And when it comes to diagnosing a car, that's not going to make me misdiagnose anything. So as for this, it works fine. Uh, the next test, I'm going to turn the car on. I want to see what it does at a slightly higher voltage. Um, the other thing too is mine, I have to select DC, where this one I just plugged it in and it tells me DC already. So now that we've got the car running, we can actually see that we're still within that same 0 0.06 volt, 0 0.07, whatever it is, uh, difference. It's still reading perfectly fine. Next is the ohms test, because other than DC voltage, ohms is pretty much the only thing you're gonna be checking on a car. Uh, we're just gonna see what it does. So mine's reading 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So the beep is the continuity test, saying that it has continuity, which is correct and it looks like it's just having a little bit of a fight deciding whether it wants to show ohms or just beep for the continuity. It's decided now. Um, so really that's probably the only thing because this is a dirty old car, which you're probably gonna be using on. Uh, because the connection isn't perfect, it might fight a little bit, but it still gives you the same answer which is all we need is an answer that says there's continuity there to continue any of your DIY diagnosis. All right, so we have our outlet here. We're just gonna see what mine says for AC voltage and then we'll check the testament. One twenty point five. One twenty point eight, one twenty point seven. That's same thing with uh, the car. It's not far off, and it's not going to cause you any issues trying to figure out whether or not your outlet is working. Next, mine can't do. We're going to do the NCV thing, 
and I want to see what that does. So you're supposed to uh, do it without these in there. NCV, so it even says it on there. Low. Hi. Oh. I wonder where the sensor is on this. Okay. That's cool. So you don't even have to put anything into that, which of course is dangerous. We don't recommend, uh, but you can figure out if your outlet's working by just putting this up next to it. That's kind of cool. The last things would be, um, so it's backlit, which is really easy to turn on. I don't know how much that does with the battery, but it's ba it, it looks good and it's really easy to read then. Um, and then it also has a flashlight, which uh, the best thing I can say is it's a flashlight. I don't know what you're gonna use it for, but it's a flashlight. At the end of this, as for the Tessman TM510 multimeter, uh, it really is worth it. Um, as of mine, I'm sure people are like, oh, well, what were you using? It's 40 times more than this. I did the math. Um, this one, for the price, will do everything that you need to do at home. And as for my opinion, I own an automotive shop and we also rent to DIYers. So people come here and work on their own cars trying to figure stuff out. This is going to be part of the uh, DIY rental tools from now on because it really does the job. So there's no reason not to let them use it. Um, if you're interested in purchasing one, we have a link and there's gonna be a discount code until April 9th of 2023 and you'll get 10% off of this, which just makes it even better of a deal. Um, yeah, the only thing that I would say that I don't like about it is they probably don't need the flashlight. It's just a little extra option. Everything else on it, I think it works great.